Hi. Hello. Thank you, Jennifer. I appreciate that introduction. Um, so hello, I am Sonia Salazar. I work for DBHR in the P25 section. I do use she, her pronouns, and I am the program manager for our intensive outpatient and partial hospitalization pilot programs. So to abbreviate, I'll be using IOP to reference intensive outpatient program and PHP to refer to partial hospitalization program. Next slide, thank you. To start with a little bit of background, um, the pilots were requested through legislator and were to begin services in 2021. This is with the support of Senate Bill 5092 and Senate Bill 6168, also referred to as Proviso 76. This bill and proviso required HCA to implement two pilot sites for IOP and PHP services for certain children and youth under the age of 21 in the state of Washington. The two pilots needed to be contract with a hospital that provides psychiatric and patient services to children and youth in a city with the largest population east and west of the crest of the Cascade Mountains. Our current location being Seattle Children's Hospital in Providence, Sacred Heart in Spokane. The pilots prioritize children and youth discharged from an inpatient hospital treatment program who require the level of services offered by the pilot programs in lieu of continued inpatient treatment. Services may not be offered if they are less costly alternative community-based services that can effectively meet the needs of an individual referred. Within both pilots, each program has its own target population, which must be met for the child to be admitted to the program. We were able to add a third pilot site due to legislation in fiscal year 2022, allowing us to expand to multi-care behavioral health Burien location, in which all of this applies as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at difference in services. So IOP services and PHP services have some similarities as you, as you can see in the slides. The main area I'd like to really focus on is the days and hours offered per week. IOP offers a very structured treatment two to four hours per day and three to five days per week. This is less intensive than a PHP with which the patient must participate in structure treatment activities, including individual, group, and family therapy, five to eight hours per day, three to five times per week. So child and youth mental health partial hospitalization care will not exceed 45 days, whereas IOP length of treatment does not exceed 30 days. Next slide, please. The timeline of the pilot, how we grew during the past few years has been building and adding and reevaluating programs to see how things may look when we officially have services in the state plan. Seattle Public Schools has been able to offer over seven different programs and with the data and outcomes has also been able to modify and continue the services of their current three programs being offered at this time. Providence Spokane is offering both IOP and PHP for two different age groups, age eight to 12 and also age 13 to 21. And MultiCare is providing a PHP that will serve youth age 13 to 19. Next slide, please. The pilots have been very beneficial in services throughout Washington, as well as assisting with data, data and rates that will influence the state Medicaid plan. With the work the pilots have done, we've been able to see an indicated decrease in dollars after discharge for patients, as well as an increase in days diverted for inpatient stays due to services offered by the pilots. Next slide, please. Alongside our actuarial partners, Mercer has completed a final legislative report to bring forth any trend solutions and final rate suggestions for the Medicaid state plan. Through this report, we have been able to develop an FAQ billing guide that also has Siri and fee for services um, rates all through for the managed care organizations and behavioral health agencies. The pilot did not require a state amendment and can be used with the set program structure for the early and periodic screening diagnostic and treatment services. Managed care organizations have been provided the FAQ and are planning to utilize their services alongside all recommendations that have been put in place. The negotiation for rates will be between managed care organizations and the IOP and PHP providers. The work with the FAQ and the transition into the state plan has been completed by our team of leaders in HCA, and we are looking forward to the smooth transition into the state plan starting on January 1st, 2024. Thank you, and I'll go ahead and pass 